Hey everyone, today I'll be doing a painting tutorial. I'll be painting up one of the wardens from the Baratheon starter set for a song of Ice and Fire, the miniature game. I'll be painting him up to what I consider a tabletop standard. Uh, I'm not going overboard with the shading and mixing on him, just something that'll look good as you're standing over the tabletop. After the glue for the sand uh, has dried, the first step is to prime the miniature. In this case, since I'm going with a mostly metallic theme, I decided to use Vallejo's Black Surface Primer. I'm just going to load some up in the airbrush, and then just prime the miniature all in black. Just making sure that I get a nice even coat all over, not too thick, and make sure that I don't miss any spots like underneath the miniature. Once done with the black, the next step is getting the armor plating. I'm using the Army Painter War Paints Gun Metal. But because it's uh, metallic paint and the pigments tend to be pretty thick, I add a few drops of uh, Vallejo's Airbrush Flow Improver to it. Making sure I get most of it mainly at a 45 degree angle. Uh, that way, some of the underneath uh, still ends up being darker, causing some shadows. With the metallic coat done all over the miniature, now it's time for some highlights. I'm using steel from Vallejo's Model Metallic Air. It's a very bright, shiny metallic paint. I'm carefully just trying to get the top of the plates, that way it emulates the sun glaring off of the armor. With the airbrushing done, now it's time for a little bit of a shade. I'm using Citadel's Nuln Oil. I swear, the guys at the store must think I drink this stuff. I go through this in Agrax Earthshade like there's no tomorrow. But in this case, I'm using it sparingly, just trying to pick out some details that might have gotten muddied by the airbrushing. Now it's time for the cloth on this miniature. Uh, since the, he's House Baratheon and one of their main colors is yellow, I'm using my go-to. This is uh, Vallejo's game color, Filthy Brown. I find that it's a great base for anything that you want to do in yellow. Uh, I tend to use this a lot for my orcs uh, since I mainly play Bad Moons. 
Uh, I'm watering down the paint quite a bit. Uh, it is a thick paint and just filling in all the material with a, a couple of uh, thin coats. The stag in the center of the shield is going to be painted black. In this case, I find it's probably more advantageous to actually paint it all yellow. That way I can get all the way up to the detail and then just pick out the black. Now that the yellow is dry, I'm just going to wash it all with a uh, Citadel Agrax Earthshade straight out of the pot. Um, I want that strong contrast. Not only is it going to make the material pop, uh, but it's also going to give it a little bit of a, a dirty look. And these men have been fighting the other households for quite some time on the battlefield, so I kind of want that grungy look. While the Agrax Earthshade uh, dries, I'm going to start uh, painting the base. What I'm, gonna, I'm doing here is a watered down Citadel Rhinox Hide. Uh, it's a nice brown, muddy brown. Uh, I find that this, with a bit of a wash and then a dry brush, ends up looking really good for bases.
Now I'm just going to pick out some of the detail. I'm using a finer brush and I'm going back with the same yellow, the uh, filthy brown, onto the, the raised areas of the miniature. So on their, um, their cloth, you've got all the little checker pattern. I'm picking those out. Uh, same with the sleeves and uh, on the shield. Now for some of the details, such as the stag on their chest, uh, the pummel of their hammers, uh, etc., I'm using uh, Citadel's Gehina's Gold, or Gehina, I don't know, I'm not too sure how it's pronounced. Uh, anyways, using a very fine brush, just taking a little bit of the, the, the gold and picking out the details. This is then going to be uh, covered with a bit of Agrax Earthshade just to shade it and really define it from the rest of the armor. Now, for all the leather bits, I'm using Citadel's Doom Bull Brown. I find that this, with a coat of Nuln Oil, makes a very nice used leather look.
Now it's time for the shields details. I'm just using uh, Vallejo Air's black. Um, it's just the first black that uh, I saw in sight. Uh, you could use pretty much any of the blacks here, but I like this one because it's more liquid. Uh, when doing details like this, I like to try to just lead the liquid, liquid into the, uh, the correct areas. With the miniature pretty much done at this point, all that's left is the base. What I'm going to be using is Citadel's Bane Blade Brown. I'll be applying this with a cheap uh, dollar store makeup brush. I find these uh, tend to leave a better powder on than your typical harder uh, army painter or games workshop branded dry brushes. So I load the brush up with the paint and then get rid of most of it on a uh, paper towel. Make sure that the brush is dry beforehand and the paper towel is dry as well. Find that if you uh, recently washed that brush and it's still wet, the dry brush won't go on properly. So you really want to make sure that it's dry and make sure that there's almost nothing left on the brush. Now that the dry brush is done, I just paint the uh, the rim of the miniature's base with some black. In this case, I'm going back to the Vallejo Surface Primer uh, just to make sure that it, it sticks well. And I know I'm going to be grabbing the bases and they're going to go in and out of the movement trays quite a bit. So you want to make sure that it's a paint that has a good, uh, a good adhesion. And here's a completed miniature. I added a couple of tufts of static grass from Army Painter, and I think he looks pretty good for tabletop quality. Well, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I'll be making a lot more of these, but not only for A Song of Ice and Fire, but also for Marvel Crisis Protocol, Star Wars Legion, Pretty much any game that has miniatures, there's a good chance I'll be making a, a tutorial for. In the meantime, make sure you like this video, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. If you want to help out with uh, getting us to make more content, please visit our Patreon. Thanks.